Hi Pisces, welcome in. Thank you so much for liking the video. We're gonna get started. We're gonna take a look at your money and then we'll take a look at any workplace situation that comes up. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not for someone else. Okay. Spirit, let's see what's going on with Pisces and their money. What do you want Pisces to know? The star influencer. It's either going to hit or miss. I'm talking to an influencer or someone who has great influence. Okay. More money. So you know, some of you guys are meant to be seen. That's how you're going to make, that's how you're going to profit. All right. To maximize your profit, you got to get seen is what I'm hearing. You want more money? Well, it's available. Okay. If you are an inf I feel like I'm talking to someone that has great deal of influence or you just, you are a star or you're, you're, you're definitely the star of the show at the workplace. I just see with that star, when it comes to your money, there is an unfathomable amount of income about to come into your bank account for real. Like you can't even imagine it. And it has everything to do with you getting out and getting seen. Ace of Pentacles tells me that this is, you know, could be a potential opportunity. Okay. Page of Cups. Your money looks real good. Clarify the star. Death card. I tried to get another message out of that, but Pisces, it's telling me you've got to step outside of your comfort zone or evolve. There's something about your you needing to evolve and transform. And then money starts pouring in. I heard some of you guys could be fitness influencers or, or what are, makeup artists, right? Let's see. Something creative, okay, with the Page of Cups. You're being guided to follow your our heart and take action, whatever it is, okay? There's something unique to you that you have to offer. Okay, Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys are, uh, you know, too nervous to take action on this. Now, what about the ones that are not interested in that? What about the ones that work for somebody? The world in reverse. Y'all know, I'm going to tell you like I see it. If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. You sleep on yourself. Okay, you're capable to make more income is what I'm, what I'm hearing by following your heart. The world in reverse tells me you guys are planted somewhere that you don't belong And if you want to make more money, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. And the world in reverse, the three of pentacles, this tells me it has a lot to do with like a website or online, a platform. All right. What about workplace situations? Let's see. Your money looks overall positive. Okay. The star coming out first, there's a unique way you can make money. You have something unique to offer. All right, so what's going on at the workplace that Pisces should be aware of?
somebody new starting. You could be the one starting. I'm also getting, those of you that are unemployed, your application is getting reviewed, okay? Or you could be the one reviewing the application. Let's see. I'm getting a new hire here. So take it how it resonates. Five of Wands, ooh. Y'all about to have someone new that gets hired that is an instigator that loves drama. Uh-huh, you're gonna see. I'm gonna predict it right now. They love drama. If you're the new, ooh, Seven of Swords. I don't like this person. If you are somebody who hires people, be very mindful. Because I'm getting, you know, if you could be interviewing this person or this is someone that's about to start at the workplace, their outside appearance, the way that you first perceive them is not how they truly are. They're not to be trusted with the Seven of Swords. Do a background check on this person. Don't skip that step of a background check with the Seven of Swords. And now what about the ones that are... If you are about to enter a new place of employment, I have to say it looks like it's filled with drama. It does. The tower. I see you regretting it. Okay. Now, if you need employment, that's not a reason, of course, not to take it. But just, you know, I feel like you need to keep your skills sharp with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles can also be skill development. Some of you guys will be getting a licensing or certificate. Or if you're wanting to get out of these situations, Pisces, where it feels as if you're dealing with children, um, you're being guided to go back to school or take some sort of course, skill development. Some of you guys, um, there's something here about a certificate or licensing. Some of you may need to renew your uh, certificate or licensing. Your coworkers, okay. Some of you guys have really sneaky ass coworkers. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. This is for the this is not to make you paranoid. This is if you're already aware of it. You know these are sneaky people. I feel like if you tell them something, they go and tell five other people. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles tells me that you're not there to invest in friendships. Now, I know that we spend a lot of time at the workplace. And how else are we supposed to meet people, right? For some of y'all. But it's like, I don't think these people are good for your mental health. I don't think they're good for you at all. You can't share things with them. Because it's like anytime you share something with them, you're going to become the topic. Because they ain't got anything else to talk about. They're not going to talk about their own life. So your big thing here, do not share things with coworkers. And I'm also getting, if you go out with coworkers and you're in like a different environment, you may start to lower your guard, but don't forget why you're there. You're there to make money. Okay. You're there to make money. You're not there to invest in relationships. I, as a matter of fact, I see you getting let down majorly if you let these people in. Sorry. Look at that magician, manipulative people around you at the workplace. Sorry. Let's see how people see you. Ain't that how it uh, you normally is? Not always. I've worked somewhere where the environment was excellent. However, even some of the best people like to talk about your business. So I just, I don't, I don't recommend saying anything to anyone that you don't want at least three or four other people to know about, you know? <clears throat> okay. How do people see you right now? Just in general, three cards. How do people see Pisces? <laughs> mm. Hmm. 
People see you as never leaving the house. Four of swords, four of wands. That you don't leave the house. That you're stuck in the house. The devil. Four of wands, four of swords. People wonder what you do with your time, Pisces. People are like, what is Pisces doing? Because you could be someone that likes to spend a lot of time alone. Or that's just how people perceive you. That you like to relax. You like to be alone. There are some people that see you that view vacation. You're obsessed with vacationing. People think that you're obsessed with uh, vacationing, but they also think you never leave the house. They think you never leave the house, but you're obsessed with vacationing. Okay, you could post pictures about enjoying yourself, okay? And there may be some people that are a little salty about that, envious with the devil, especially if you post anything that looks like you're having fun without them. Because like there's some people that look at you, Pisces, and they're, and they're like, well, Pisces is having fun. But how come Pisces don't have fun with me? How come Pisces doesn't invite me? Or how come, you know, when I invite Pisces, Pisces does, you know, you're busy. Give me two more. Thank you so much, Pisces, with a touch of fire for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you. Give me two more cards for how they see you. People see you as held back from them. People see you as you don't put effort in the relationship or the connections. Okay, that you're all about yourself, your family. Okay. Ace of Wands. So let me get this straight. This is so odd to me. So if it makes sense, it makes sense. But there are people that see you as be living and having a good time. And you could post things about your exciting time. But do you know there's people that are a little jealous that, you know, they're not included or you don't put as much effort into their the relationship with them as you do with whoever you're sharing these photos of? Okay. You could have friends or... People who are not in your friend circle, that when they view things that you post online, they're wondering why you don't like them, okay, or why they weren't invited or included. You're also being seen as attractive by someone. It could be a Leo or a Capricorn that views you as really attractive. You know, Pisces, I feel like there are people around you, not in your immediate friend group, but right outside of it. There's some sort of association you have with other people. And when they hear about your good news, they get extremely jealous. Five of Wands, the devil. You actually have people right outside of your close circle of friends, right outside of it. They're actually jealous of the connections you have, and they're jealous of you in general. Especially if you are someone that likes to you know, share your good news or share that you're having a good time. You do have some people right outside of your friend circle that don't, they don't, they're not happy for you. Okay. Uh, we got the strength card in the Ace of Wands. If it's not a Leo, they could have a strong Leo placement, but there's definitely someone that has a strong attraction for you that's around you and it feels new with the Ace of Wands. This is like a newer person. so much Pisces with a touch of fire. Hi everybody. Hi Quinn. You know, every time I see your name Quinn, so I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan. Um, hold on. I actually have this right beside me. Every time I see your name, I think about <laughs> Harley Quinn pops up in my head. Um, yeah. There's my mallet. Okay. All right. That's my metaphorical smash the trolls mallet. 
Even though I really don't have any trolls lately. I really don't. I think they got bored of me. They're like, she doesn't say anything. She doesn't give us attention anymore. Let's go somewhere else. All right. I like lost all care for it really. You howled at the full moon last night? I should have done that. I could go out there right now and howl at the sun. You think my neighbors would join in? Alright. Okay, let's see. Give me um, a card for the single Pisces. What do you want single Pisces to know? Focus on yourself. Your guides are saying it's time to heal. Shadow work. This is about self-appreciation. Appreciating yourself, okay? So, y'all know, I've said this to you before. I'm going to say it again. Um, treat yourself the way you want someone else to treat you. You want someone to take you on a date, take yourself on a date. You you want a specific, uh, you know, type of person that's going to bring you flowers or, you know, buy you things and treat yourself the way you want someone else to treat you. That's actually one of the ways to manifest someone here, a specific type of person. You're going to attract how you treat yourself. You're going to attract that in another person. Also, have self-respect, okay? Don't be afraid to show your self-worth, but it's time to heal, Pisces. Heal from a narcissist, okay? Someone that charmed you and you felt like they used you. This is about you exercising your boundaries. You know the truth. Okay, see people for who they are. Okay, so uh, the sword and rose. Your guides are saying that, you know, when you see people for who they are, believe it. Who's coming towards single Pisces right now? Who's coming toward single Pisces? Who's coming toward you? Oh my gosh, this feels like the Aquarius message all over again. You got someone deceptive coming towards you. Could be an Aquarius, all right, or some of the strong Aquarius placement. Ten of Cups, they're in a relationship. They're a cheater. They're cheating on somebody else. Okay. So just be mindful of that, all right? The chariot. This person's relentless. Okay. I see someone driving. Someone, it's almost like somebody wants to drive to come see you. Okay, this person's driving past your house. You already know, I think you already know this person. Some of you Pisces may have drove past this person's house. That's how you know who it is. Look, I'm going to be real with y'all. If you haven't, okay. But the message I'm getting is how you would know who this person is specifically. Y'all done did a background check on this person. And that wasn't good enough. You got in the dang car and you said, I'm going to drive right to their house. I'm going to see it with my own eyes. Did you find out someone was, had a family or did you find out someone, did you find out something about this person? sure did. Mm -hmm. So who's coming towards you? It's the one that's a cheater. 
the one that has, they're in a relationship and specifically some of y'all, you tried to find out things online about this person and you weren't getting the information you wanted. Uh, you could have found an address and hopped in this person's car and drove right past their house. Is what I'm getting. Now, if that's not you and you did not do that crazy shit, <laughs> all right, I'm not judging. Okay. Let's, let's all laugh at ourselves though, please. Um, if you didn't do that, can I tell you this person did it to you? Mm-hmm. They did it to you. Y'all better put them blinds down. Put your blinds down right now. All right. Don't be showing ass walking past the window. Okay. Put your blinds down. Tell me more. Blame the full moon for my behavior today. All right. Yeah. Look at this. The tower. <laughs> y'all found out they're with someone else. For some of y'all, they have a whole nother family. Okay. That's who's coming towards you. Now, if this isn't resonating with you, y'all be careful who is coming towards you. Because for some of y'all, this is a new person. If you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, tarot can predict energy. Be very mindful of cheaters in the future. People who are coming towards you with fake names specifically or using their middle name, right? And not their first name, okay? Or not telling you their last name or people who are very secretive in general, right? I feel like there's someone coming towards you that has a wife or a husband or a relationship of some kind and this person's a player, okay? Now let's go back to the first card here. Your guides are wanting you to be self-indulgent right now. Focus on yourself right now. Focus on your healing because this is going to raise your vibration. And we're not going to even be attracted to people like this when we raise our vibration. Okay, this empath narcissist paradigm that some of you guys have been stuck in. You're being asked to see the truth in the matter. Libra's here, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Libra, Taurus again, Scorpio again, Aquarius, Water. Okay, look at this. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Exercise those boundaries. What about the new person? So if a new person of interest has caught your eye, Pisces, let's see how they see you and how they feel. The new person see you the hanged man are you hung up on something or you're hung up somewhere else they see you as stuck <clears throat> they want to talk to you why would they see you as hung up Do they know about you being hung up on an ex or do they see you as hung up on someone? That's how the new person would see you. They're, you're hung up on someone. They think you're hung up on an ex or hung up on a person that's hurting you. They think you're being hurt by someone, but you're sticking around. So they see you as like you're in a state of limbo in your life. Okay. Now, they could see you as, you know, of course, you're healing from something. They could view you as someone who is obviously healing from, from something. You give this impression that you're healing, but also still stuck on it. Like you're stuck on the past, but heal, like you're trying to get over it. Now, 
for some of you guys specifically, they just see you as someone that they're in a third party with. Because I have the Hierophant here. Along with the Three of Swords. There could be other people involved. How does this new person feel about you? They want you. They feel this unexplainable, great chemistry and connection with you. Gemini's here, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Could be another Pisces for some of you. They feel a deep connection with you already. Their feelings for you uh, with the Wheel of Fortune coming out with this keep turning in a positive direction. Okay, they feel really good about you. I'm getting they want to get to know you further. Tell me more about that energy. Eight of Swords. You make this person feel insecure. Or self-conscious with the Eight of Swords. You know, somebody here, this new person feels a ton of chemistry with you, Pisces, but they feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, like there's nothing they can do about it. Your hands are tied, their hands are tied, because look at you, the hanged man is here. So it's almost like you guys, um, this person feels like y'all's hands are tied in the situation, that there's nothing they can do about it. So how do they think you feel about them? Let's do that. How does this person think Pisces feels about them? What do they think your feelings are towards them? Mm, they think you want them. They think you're sexually attracted to them. They think that you feel pulled towards them with the chariot, but they also feel as if you're pulled in multiple directions. Because, you know, in the chariot, these two sphinx are kind of pointed in different directions slightly. They think you want they think you want them Pisces they said I know Pisces wants me I tell you what they they think that you feel amazing when they give you attention they think that they just make your day when they look at you the, the six of wands for how for how they think you feel about them they think you feel pretty damn good about them. They think you want them. Okay? How do you feel? How does Pisces really feel? How does Pisces really feel? This, like this is a disaster? <laughs> you feel like it's a straight disaster, a mess. Okay? You feel like it's chaotic? You're still interested, though. You're interested in this disaster. So I'm getting like you're both trying to remain. You both want to come. Look, first of all, y'all both want to come rushing in. Y'all are tired of thinking about it. You just both want to rush towards each other. King of Pentacles tells me you're both mutually trying to remain disciplined in the situation. So take it how it resonates. Feels like a stalemate to me. I didn't have the two of swords, but that's what it feels like. Could be dealing with someone that has a strong Pisces placement. Scorpio. A lot of air is here. Specifically Gemini. We also have Aquarius, uh, Libra. Could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius. Strong Scorpio. And then Leo's here again and Cancer. Oh my, I can't hold on to stuff today, y'all. I'm, I'm so, cl I'm hitting shit, I'm dropping shit, I'm throwing like shit in the camera, I hit the camera in the last reading. Oh God, I'm 
I'm so clumsy today. What the heck? Okay. What am I doing? Oh. All right. So let's take a look at if you have no problems with anybody, don't watch me. All right. Unless you can solely watch for the purpose of entertainment, because I'm not here to start fights and relationships or confuse people. This is something that, you know, your intuition is already feeling about a person. Um, I felt the need to say that. So if you're not currently having any problems with someone, this message will not be for you. You're still welcome to stick around and watch though. For the drama, right? For the tea. <laughs> okay. No fro, y'all. I do keep dropping stuff. Okay. I blame all my problems on the astrology. So I'm just going to blame it on the full moon and whatever else is going on out there. Okay, that makes me feel better. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at this person that you're currently dealing with. There was a past incident between you and this person. We're going to see how they feel about you. Okay. Spirit, how would Pisces know this reading is for Pisces? How would they know? How would they know? Unfinished business. Okay. Did someone send you mixed signals and then cut you off or ignore you? Okay. I'm getting, you're really dissatisfied with the situation. A lot of you guys are reevaluating the situation. A lot of stagnancy here. Okay. A lot of static too is what I'm getting. They're a burden you know you need to release. But you just can't give up on this. You're like, you, so this is what I'm getting, Pisces. Even though they're this big burden, okay, they sent you mixed signals and then ignored you. Somebody here could have done this multiple times to you in the past with the Seven of Cups. But I'm getting, someone sent you mixed signals just to ignore you, right? They're a burden you know you need to release, but something tells you that this is unfinished and that you just, you can't, like, look at this. You're still, you can't release it is what I'm getting. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay. Let's see. How does this person currently see you? How does this person currently see you? Death card. Changing. Transforming. You know, the death card is an ending. Okay. Uh, they see you as someone who has changed some way. Tell me more about that. So you could have went from persistent, being persistent with them to stopping. It's like you kind of stopped all effort toward the situation. So they see you as someone who is trying to end this. You're trying to spring back or you're trying to come back from this. Okay. They do see you as someone who you, who was persistent towards them and now you're not. All right. That you've changed. They think your feelings have changed for the situation. You know, the nine of wands is also like you put, you set boundaries now. They think you're trying to mend a wound. 
How did they how did they feel about you? How do they feel about Pisces? Y'all, they think you're releasing this. They feel like you're letting go, okay? You know, some of you guys may have shown, you may have really held on tightly to this person in the past or they could feel that. Like they felt like you were all for them, but they feel like you're releasing this. Specifically, now don't take this if it doesn't resonate. It's if you've heard this. Specifically, someone could have jokingly or someone could have said to you that you were possessive or that you were controlling. Someone could have said that to you in the past specifically. If not, don't take it. But generally, the energy is this person feels as if you're letting them go. I have Will of Fortune. They want to come back. You know what? This irritates me um, so much because it's like, it's when you release it. It's This is just classic. This is classic. And this is how energy works, Pisces. Seriously, this is how energy works. When you truly let something go, I mean truly let it go, it brings this energy back to you for many reasons. One, because this person feels that you have let go of their energy and it's kind of like a magnetic pull that now they have towards you with that will of fortune because they know that you are, obviously there's some lessons here that you two are learning from each other. I don't know, I don't think they would explain it this way, okay? Obviously, there are some lessons here that you are learning from each other. I feel like you're getting your lessons and this person still has a lot to learn. That's why they're coming back toward you. Because they still have, they don't get it. They still have, they don't get it yet. And so you're pulling this person back by releasing them. Is what it's telling me. Yeah, you're going to feel a sense of justice in this situation. Okay? Like, you know, I'm just going to say the word. Like, you're going to, feels like revenge. Um, now, that's a, that's a harsh word. But it's almost like someone who didn't treat you right. Someone who, you know, drop, it feels like they dropped you or they are ignoring you. They're going to come back and you're going to feel a sense of justice. Like, you're going to feel like, you know, karmic justice has taken place here. The justice card is also chaos resolving itself. So just know that the universe has it all under control. I think you're starting to realize that. Okay. The Hierophant Taurus energy. There's a big spiritual lesson you're both learning. You know you are so much wiser because of this situation. You know you are. You know you are. The emperor's here. So this is all about you feeling like, how do I want to I don't want to say you won. That's not the word. You're going to feel a sense of you are above this person. I don't know where you are at this exact moment. Some of you guys, it does feel like you're still stuck in the confusion of it all. And that you can't release this. But the second you do, which I do see you eventually releasing it. You're all on different timelines. Eventually, as you begin to release this, and this person comes back towards you. You're going to have some sort of aha moment. And then... There's an energy here of you feeling like you're above this person. Way above this person. Because I feel like you're going to look at them differently, Pisces. I truly feel like you're going to see this person completely differently. It's almost like they're going to give you the ick. Does that make, like, you're going to cringe. 
And I'm sorry if that, you know, upsets anybody, but that's what I'm getting. I feel like, you know, you may just be stuck on this person because they made themselves more important to you than they really were. And they did this by sending you mixed signals and they did this by dropping you and ignoring you, which placed a lot more importance on them. And it's like, as you begin to learn these spiritual lessons, you get closer to where you need to be and you get closer to the person that's right for you. Whoever that is. Yeah, three of cups. There's a reconciliation happening, okay? Is what I'm getting. But I, I, I just, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think you're going to be as romantically interested in this person as you start to evolve and raise your frequency. I just don't think you will be. I think you're going to lose it for them because you're going to, a lot of this, you know, you're going to remember what they did to you. You know? And now you have free will. You have free will. You can do what you want. But just remember I said you're going to reach a point to where this person does not even do it for you anymore. Some of you are getting that closer there. Some of you are closer than others. All right. What's their hidden truth toward Pisces? They felt really, so you make them so happy. You make them happy. They loved being around you, right? They really enjoy your company, okay? The karma, the karma of the situation, unfortunately, is permanently losing you like you're there you're this person's karma and people don't realize it until you're no longer an option unfortunately that's when people get it is when you are no when you completely drop it Says, I'm starting to understand our connection. So they know there's a deeper connection here. They know that there's a meaningful connection here. I feel like it's a connection that's filled with lessons. Now, the Hierophant here, the Emperor, I do see you seeing the connection as something very spiritual. You know you have a spiritual bond with this person. They know you have a spiritual bond with this per with them. They know it, and so do you. However, I am predicting that... In the future, you're not going to be able to take this person seriously, is what I meant by you getting the ick. I just feel like you're not going to be able to look at this person and take them seriously. And it has a lot to do with the way they treated you. Because it looks to me like they treated you like you were nothing, nothing special. And how they treated you doesn't line up with how they feel about you. We have strong fire, water, especially Aries, okay? Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Libra. Strong Taurus is here in Scorpio. I'm going to do Aries right after this, by the way. Okay. Let's do all signs, their sign. And keep in mind, energy is ever changing. I'm just reading current energy here. All signs, their sign. All signs of their sign, Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, they want you. They wish to be wherever you are. 
Okay, your wish fulfillment to that Aries. The Taurus misses you, misses you a lot. Six of Cups. I see a reunion between you and a Taurus because the Taurus really misses you. The Gemini, uh, the Hermit, uh, if the Gemini ghosted you, I don't see them coming back anytime soon, although they are really reflecting on this. The Gemini withdrew, but they're still thinking about this. If you're dealing with a Cancer, I do see a reunion between you and a Cancer, a new chapter. The Leo, communication coming in from a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, uh, they're overwhelmed. They've taken a step back. They're too overwhelmed to communicate right now. But the uh, Virgo does think a lot about this. The Libra, the Hierophant. Libra wants to be with you. They want commitment. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're moving on. Okay, they're trying to release this. And, and it's because they have baggage still. So the reason why they've turned their back on you is because they have they're they're carrying the weight and the burdens of something else. So they they feel like they have no other choice other than to move on. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Ten of Swords, uh, if a Sagittarius betrayed you, it's over. It's just over. Um, you know, even if the Sagittarius does return, uh, the betrayal is so deep, right? The wound is too deep to heal. What's done is done. I feel like they can't come back from it. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're in love with you. Okay, the Capricorn has strong feelings for you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the strong attraction from this Aquarius, they want you, golly. Very attracted to you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're manipulative. If you're dealing with another Pisces, I feel like the drama will continue, the games will continue. Okay, if you're dealing with another Pisces, I don't see I don't see this other Pisces uh, doing right by you. Ace of Cups. I see a peace off. If you're dealing with another Pisces, I do see an, a peace offering coming in, but it's manipulative. Okay, so just be mindful of that. I feel like the Pisces is being manipulative in the future. All right, I'm going to go um, start on Aries. Thank you guys so much for liking the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.